What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Black Pole Podcast. Now, you see from the title, I made a very bold statement then. We predicted the Harvey Weinstein scandal. The Last Society, Chapter 4, Wordplay. Mystique came up with this story about this young lady named Jordan. Very beautiful. So she turns 18, she moves to Hollywood become a big time movie star. She does that. Before in order for her to become a big time movie star, she has to go through these gatekeepers who make her do heinous sexual acts, take illicit drugs, and become a drug addict to get these roles. And she was the biggest thing going in Hollywood. Looked herself in the mirror with all them demons in her face. She didn't know who the hell she was. 2016 wordplay was published and in 2018 Harvey Weinstein turns himself in for several rape allegations and sexual abuse of movie stars he was a gatekeeper a big time movie producer raping these women other heinous sexual act then after he get done guess we tell him you got the part Reason this story is so dear to me at this point, as you know, I'm a father now. I'm raising a beautiful little queen. I'm very protective of her. And I don't want no shit like that happening to her. Cause I'll put a motherfucker down on mine. Straight up, playing no games. So this is advice I got to my queens out there to make sure you don't end up in a Harvey Weinstein situation. Number one, protect your virtue. You know what that means. I'm not going to go any further with that. Number two, know how to protect yourself. Me and my child's mother is already understood. When my daughter turns five years old, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. That's number two. And number three, ladies, exercise your right to bear arms. Yeah, I said it. And I stand on that. Why? Because every woman in my family, including my mother and my grandmother, was strapped. And they will pop you. That's a major deterrent from a man putting his hands on a woman. Hey, I was raised in a house full of women. I don't play that shit at all. And my father told me don't put your hands on a woman. And the one time he did make that mistake, me and him had to see each other, toe to toe. We worked it out, though. Love you, pops. Love you, moms. But it's no excuse for putting your hands on a woman. Straight up. And it all goes back, ladies, what I keep telling y'all. Protect yourselves. Protect your hearts. And also, watch the company you keep. You go on a modeling call, you find your ass in Dubai. Getting ran through. And it'd be your best friend who encouraged you to go. She already been ran through. She's already traumatized. She wants somebody to share her fucking pain. I'm sorry for getting so upset about this. But I just think about my daughter. Again, when it comes to my daughter, I'm going to put a motherfucker down. You put that on everything. I'm going to teach my daughter. Hell, she probably gonna get to you first. She'll cry like, Daddy, he, he, he put his hands on my, I shot him. I'm on my way. I get over there, I'm gonna decide whether we gonna call the police or I'm gonna call my grave diggers. Enough, man. Let me stop. I'm snitching on myself on this motherfucker. Thank you for tuning in. God bless. One team.